you're watching Market Fatafat on India's number one business news channel, ET Now. Let's kick start Fatafat then. Uh, we're going to flag off all the individual movers and shakers. And to do that today, we have with us Rajesh Palvia of Access Securities to talk about the technicals of individual stocks. And Vinny and Samia join in from the research desk. Good afternoon, everyone. And let's kick start the show with banking names. Yes, bank is a stock on our radar. Top Nifty Gainer. What a massive move seen over here. 6% higher this after the company. Well, along with saying that, look, they're going to have to postpone the announcement of the third quarter numbers, have also said that there are new, um, you know, a, a couple of investors that have come in the fray who could perhaps be potential investors for yes. Bank names include JC Flowers, Tilden Park, Silver Point Capital, among others. But yeah, the third quarter numbers will be pushed 7.2% um, higher for yes. Bank, uh, perhaps in the back of this uh, fresh investor interest received. But absolutely still no clue of who the final investor list will be. That's the reason why they have also postponed the third quarter results. And keeping it with banking then, uh, Rajesh, SBI, uh, the bank seems to be hopeful that the worst is behind us. But yeah, what about the stock? It's at 3.30. It's been quite a stellar run up. Uh, could we see more room for an up move here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, Mubina. Yeah, if you off late, we have seen, you know, SBI has recovered from the 300 level. And even if, if you look at the today's derivative data, you know, a lot of call and uh, was, you know, seen as an unwinding action was witnessed in the call writer's side. So, uh, looking at the setup, stock is, you know, currently trading above all its important moving average. I feel that, you know, we can see furthermore upside in the SBI in the near term to short term. So, uh, we expect that uh, stock can rally towards 345 could be the uh, next target in the uh, near term to short short term one can place a stop loss of 322 to go long in the SBI at the current juncture. Okay, 2.3% higher for SBI and Mini today's earnings Zamaka is IRCTC. Absolutely, Mubina. It is a big Dhamaka result for us. Now, let's look at the PAT. It's up around three times on a year on a basis. It's at 206 crore revenue doing super well. It's up 62%. And you know, this revenue is done well across its sec uh, across the board. So, you know, ticketing revenue is up four times. Uh, nail, real, uh, real, uh, nail, uh, rail, near revenue is up around 50%. T catering revenue is also up as well as to uh, tourism revenue is also co doing quite well. So, you know, overall also the set of numbers is quite good for us. IRCTC margins are up by uh, you know at 37% versus 23% on a year on a basis so you know what a fabulous set of numbers by IRCTC plus you know the stock has rallied around 13% today and we go to see since morning plus you know the stock is been up around 400 percent over its issue price so, you know it has been doing quite well since its IPO and you know today also it's just further adding to the up move of the stock for Bina. Yeah, that it did and you're seeing a stellar reaction on the stock, 12.5% higher. And Samia, that's the case even with another company in the niche space and that is uh, Midhani. What exactly uh, were the results like? Well, uh, that's uh, very rightly put by you, Mamina. In fact, uh, this one's also uh, posted a really uh, good set of numbers, stellar set of numbers, revenue growth of around 35%. Uh, in fact, uh, very impressive profit growth of around uh, more than, uh, it actually expanded by 3.6 times uh, equally performance on the EBITDA front also seeing a growth of around 3.3 times and the margins expanded by more than 1600 basis points so definitely really good set of numbers the margin expanded from 11.2 percent to 27.7 percent and this is what is moving the stock today the stock's trading higher by over 4.3 percent Okay, Midhani is high by 4.3% in trade. Ashok Leyland, meantime, yes, the quarter was a tough one, that's for sure. Um, we did see the growth on the top line trickle down to the margins as well. But nevertheless, Morgan Stanley is saying that, look, um, it, it's, it's all right because there has still been aggressive cost control at play. And despite the stuff demand environment, Ashok Leyland stuck its neck out and maintained cost discipline, a good cost discipline. Uh, hence, they are maintaining their overweight stance on Ashok Leyland target at 111 rupees per share but again reacting to the bad numbers we did say the stock uh, plummet quite a bit uh, off the day's high though for now one percent of losses seen 80.5 rupees for the share price okay moving on Rajesh uh, today we are waiting by for OMGC's results as well ahead of that anything uh, that you're observing and you know I think gas stocks in general are having a bit of a tough day today in trade so what would be your recommendation here So, 
so uh, if you look at the technical setup stock is in a weak territory across all the time frame and stock is continuously forming low top lower bottom formation on daily as well as on the weekly chart which is you know adding up the weakness on the you know near term as well as on the short term and looking at the derivative data also you know stock is continuously uh, witnessing you know a short built up in the stock so i feel you know we can see further more weakness in the coming trading session and uh, maybe stock can you know slide further towards 198 level in the near term basis so my advice would be to remain short in the stock if any minor pullback action comes in the stock 108 would be the appropriate stop loss to go short in the ongc from the current level okay sell uh, on ongc from rajesh we need more result reactions natco pharma how is the street reacting to this pharma company's third quarter numbers Uh, Mubina, you know this has been a weak set of numbers for Natco Pharma in Q3. Now let's look at the revenue. It's at 482 crores versus 556 crores on a year-on-year -year basis. That is down around 14 percent. Even the margins have contracted, and you know they are at 26.7 uh, percent versus 37.4 percent on a year-on basis. Profits have also declined by around 35 percent on uh, on a year-on-year -year basis. Now you know the company has continued to face a uh, pressure on its margins, and it's mainly due to the ha uh, hepatitis C portfolio, which is affecting the margins of the company. But overall, also it has been quite a weak environment for Natco Pharma, and that's why we are seeing you know the stock also being impacted due to the Q3 numbers, Mubin. Okay, well, Natco Pharma certainly is gaining very uh, sorry, losing uh, in trade today, 5.6 percent gone. But we are Wellspun Enterprises as well, and Samia, anything spectacular over here? Because I do see revenue growth and EBITDA growth, but profit after tax is down. Well, yes, exactly. That's right. So I would classify it as a mixed set of numbers. Uh, revenue growth of around uh, uh, actually 13 percent. Uh, pr profit was actually down by over 36 percent on a year-by-year -year basis. So there was a little diversion trend here. However, the margins are pretty much reversed, stable within a slight upward bias at around 10.9 percent versus a 10.4 percent the previous uh, year. So having said that, uh, there was a mixed set of numbers, but uh, a good revenue growth and a bit of growth probably is still in the markets. Okay, stock price then of Wellspun Enterprises is higher by 3.7 percent. Dr. Reddy is yesterday, of course, we had that all important news that Dr. Reddy is will buy, be buying out certain units of Wokard Limited. And why Wokard was a bit weakish in trade? Take a look at the move seen in Dr. Reddy. Is in fact, as we speak, the stock has actually scaled the day's high at three, just about 3,300 rupees. That's the level we may see the stock trading at very soon. Nomura has maintained a buy. They kept their target at 3,684 rupees. as they believe that the extent of value accretion though will totally depend on stalling the declining sales so that is something that they will wait and watch out for whether dr reddies is astutely be able to do that morgan stanley meantime has maintained an equal weight as they believe that this acquisition demonstrates the company's intent to strengthen like i said stock prices at the day's high All right, and Rajesh, like we've been flagging off, United Spirits—a nice, steady up move—is what we've been witnessing here. Where do you see it go? Yeah, this is the third consecutive week we have seen you know a strong run up in the uh, United Spirit, and and the, throughout this FAB series we have seen you know long build up has been there in the uh, United Spirit. And looking at the chart pattern, stock is trading above all its important moving average, and on the monthly chart also stock managed to give its down sloping trend line breakout. So looking at the overall setup, uh, I feel that stock will continue its uptrend, and uh, 725, 730 target can be seen in the near term basis. So one can keep a stop loss. Of six seventy eight to go long uh, to buy the United Spirit at the current level for seven twenty five seven thirty target. Okay, so go long on this one. Stocks already crossed seven hundred rupees. Uh, keep an eye out on this. And many NBCC. How are the third quarter numbers for this one? Mubina, you know, one more company with a weak set of numbers this time, and you know, we are seeing that the revenue is down by around 21 percent. So, you know, you know, the slowdown impact everything has continued to impact the company. Uh, even the margins are. At 1.3 percent merely versus 2.9 percent on a year-on-year -year basis, profits are also down by around 41 percent. So you know, surely we are seeing an impact uh, on the company of the slowdown as well as you know, uh, pressure is continuing on the company as well as on the stock. We can see today also is under pressure. Yeah, two and a half percent down. Samia, anything spectacular on InfoEdge and what does Goldman have to say post it delivered its third quarter numbers? Well, uh, Mubina, uh, this one uh, we have. Uh, 
Goldman maintaining a neutral uh, on the stock uh, with a target price of 2,520 rupees per share. Well, what's worth flagging off is the fact that they've said they will marginally cut revenue estimates for Info Edge, and they believe that the medium-term outlook, despite uh, this marginal cut, is actually remains robust. Uh, they're forecasting 17% of FY20 to 22 revenue uh, CAGR for the company. So, given this fact, they op overall remain robust uh, as far as the company's outlook is concerned. However, they're marginally cut their uh, revenue estimates for Info Edge, and probably that's uh, somewhere what's adding to the pressure uh, in the stock scene today. 3.9% gone for Info Edge. But with that, we're out of time. So, Rajesh, Vinny, and Samia, thank you so much for joining us on this shortened edition of Market Fatah. But stay tuned. Closing trades is up next.